Welcome to everyone that's new and who's been here for a while. Welcome to King Nicole After Dark, where you talk about everything, topic, all topics that have to do with relationships. Um, anything that you miss, you can go on YouTube tomorrow and see the edited version on YouTube, okay? And you can just hit the link. Again, you can always find my Keep Your Crown Straight Hair Oil on Etsy. The link is also in the bio. All natural. Great scents. And it's awesome for hair growth. So you can see the testimonies. Check it out. Now, so I want to discuss to this evening with y'all. I'm a model. And I know so many people that are models and entertainers and are out here in the industry. How do I want to talk about this? Because I, I just want to say that everybody looks good. Everybody looks good. So, or doing their best to look good, right? So... You might be liking somebody. Yes, definitely the Boss That Magazine Volume 9 out now. Yes, I'm on the cover. Definitely check it out. I posted it in my stories so y'all can hit the link. It's definitely on there. Um, okay, so back to the topic at hand. Sorry, Jerry. Um, <laughs> all love. Um, so... There's a lot of attractive people out here. And I've noticed that people slide into each other's DMs looking to talk to each other. However, you have to make it a point to make yourself stand out. Like I said, make your presence known. There's a lot of sexy people out here. And if you want to holler at them or you're trying to get close to them, you have to go about it a certain way. Now, I'm just saying what my opinion is, okay? Somebody might say something differently, or the case might be, but this is my opinion. That first in making your presence known is the, the DM. Again, from any standpoint that I'm coming from, is from a standpoint of going towards a relationship. Now, if you just want to do nonsense and everything like that, then I can't help you with that. And I hope that my um, advice does not help you with that because that is not the goal. The goal is for relationships to be close and building to one another because I just learned today that, or was it yesterday, that Anthony, An no, not Anthony Anderson, that Kenan Thompson and his wife are now divorcing. Like, it's getting crazy out here. Everybody's divorcing, so I'm all for the relationships. I'm all for the love and the communication. And that's one of the reasons why Keenan Thompson's relationship did not, you know, pan out, um, you know, for the long haul because he's away, he's traveling, he's doing things. So, in making your presence known in the DMs, if that's what you're going to do. Now, I always recommend getting to know, getting to know the person, having the person, like, in real life, like, but in this day and age, we all talk to each other. <sighs> online right so if you're gonna sign into the dms it has to be something that is out of the ordinary now what i mean by out of the ordinary is not saying yo ma yo this and everything like that it's actually a very respectable um statement of how are you doing i would like to get to know you your name and how you would like to get to know them simple as that then then comes the consistency Okay, you can't just do that one time, especially if you're not already friends with that person. But I recommend being friends with them and following them and everything like that. It's weird as shit that you want to talk to somebody and not follow them. So don't even go there. Don't even don't even go there. And like I said, I always encourage people to date people in real life. But in this day day and age, like I said, you um people are dating through IG and getting to know th th people through IG. So that's what happens. But 
again, like following them would be the best way because a lot of people don't even check their DMs. But if they do, it should be a message that says you know, who you are and what your intentions are. Straight up and down. Because people always appreciate honest people and direct people. Okay? You should always be honest and direct. Thank you, Night Angel Exodus, for buying a, a, buying a badge. Yes, people. My royals, if you do appreciate me, want to see me continue to build, then please, um, I appreciate you sending badges, gifts, all that. You know, I appreciate it. All that you guys do to support me and my brand. Um, so back to, again, like I said, follow them. Second thing is, in real life, try to ask for their number. In fake life, which is IG, you would like like their like their um their photos as well as send um type messages okay again you want to make your presence known or something like this if you see that your your crush or the person that you're interested in is going live or doing something where you can contribute and support then you do so okay um I would say like be cliche and sharing is caring, but you have to be able to. <laughs> Tori's photo says photos one says I'm broke. I don't know social media life. Well, even if you don't know social media life in real life, you have to take her out on a date. So I'm saying what you have to do to get the the hot chick because again her DM, her DMs are flooded, so you have to get her attention. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about because and so so many people are trying to holler at girls through social media and men through social media. So I'm talking about that, but I'm also giving the parallel of what you would do in real life. So in real life, you'd have to take her out on a date. Okay. And, you know, to, to separate yourself from the different people, no, you don't have to ball out, but you would have to do a date that is significant enough for her to say that that is as memorable as it should be. Like... For instance, um, like I had said in my last um, live, that if your person is interested in um, reading, take them to go to a book signing of their favorite author. To, to have them go listen to you know a book reading or even buy them the new book that just came out by their favorite author. Night Angel Exodus presents as something to engage with your crush. Yes. Fontel says, can't do the online dating thing. I need to know what you smell like. <laughs> Good evening, George. Good evening. Uh, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, in real life, you have to go on a few dates. You have to be able to, like I said, it doesn't have to have, always have, money have to be the sole focus in dating. It's also about creativity because you're not always going to have it. Sometimes you have to be able to pinch pennies to do things in the long run if you're, if you're wise. So always going out of your pocket and everything like that doesn't even make sense in the long run. So please, uh, and I say this to the people that always say like, oh, they got to spend money. They got to spend money. No. In a, lot of, in, in a relationship, you actually have to learn to be creative. You have to actually learn to be creative because you're not always going to be able to ball out, you know, especially when you start having kids and having to, you know, put money in so many different things, retirement, you know, social security, uh, not social security, <laughs> your IRAs and everything like that. You got to invest in stuff. So, I mean, you have to be able to ball out on a budget. So part of being in a relationship is actually very much creativity. And that's what you have to bring when you're online as well. Because you have to show that you're different from the pack. Because again, most of these men or women are going to are just attracted to the aesthetics. They don't really want to know the person. And so you point you you make yourself stand out by doing certain things. 
maybe even in their social media, you scroll all the way down to the bottom and like their pictures from back in the day. And if you relate to it, like, oh, where are you talking about family matters? Oh my goodness, da 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 da. Whatever the case might be, but find common ground. And again, you've always want to, you know, you want to translate this into real life. So conversations on the phone, make sure they're consistent and constant, not where you're blowing them up, but to a regular point where you're having a conversation. Uh, If they only knew us as absolute facts. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, you want to do things that, I said, again, make you stand out from the pack. So... For, for men, gift them every every so often, you know? Something that's meaningful. Give them tickets to their favorite game. Give them their, you know, buy them their favorite liquor or whatever case it might be just because. Give them a back rub, a belly scratch. <laughs> okay? For the men, if she's not allergic, give your lady flowers. Give your lady chocolates. Give your lady jewelry. Take her, have her experience things that she would not experience with anyone else. That you so, like I said, be creative, and that's a big part of making yourself stand out. Okay, so another part of standing, making yourself stand out. is being consistent. I think I said that earlier, but I want to stress it again because being consistent is is key in this entire this entire experience. Because if you if you if you fumble, then you appear like everybody else. So at least for I'm not saying that you can't ever fuck up. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that you have to be consistent for a good period of time, especially if it's online. That time frame to people doesn't last long unless they already can see you as a confidant. But sometimes with social media, people already put you in a category. So that's why I said out the gate, you have to come out with what your intentions are so that you appear different from everybody else. Because if you come out saying, hey, what's up? Oh, you know... And I mean, so people often confide in people that they don't know because they know that they're not going to talk to them ever again or they're never going to see them. So it's whatever. Night Angel Excess presents, yes, being creative with experiences and events. Elegance and Focus Magazine says quality time without always being on the phone. Correct. Correct. But again, you don't know the comfortability of people that are learning to, you know, are doing online dating, Right. So you can do creative things. Um, a creative thing that I've that I've done for long distance and online dating um, is when I was just having when I had moved from just being on um, the computer to actually on the phone would be watching a movie together. Um, I would watch a movie. He would watch a movie in his house, the same movie, and we'd watch it like that. And be able to talk and have, you know, good times like that. Fontelfo says, uh, bathe them butt naked in gold glitter and olive oil by candlelight. <sighs> Mm-mm-mm. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you for sharing. But no, that is not what you want to do. Um, if, like I said, you're looking for a relationship and that is not relationship material. So that's just <laughs> that's all, just nonsense but i hear you we're talking about relationships sorry think of my dates okay well that's fine but um it's all about you know relationship stuff over here and um yeah i'm not gonna say that every female is is like me but you know the ones that want to settle down and you know want to take things slow and want to see where things are going to go you know because we we want to have a future with this person it's only people that like to have fun and crash and burn that you know i mean like i said to each his own but i don't agree someone had asked me um and i know i'm veering off um a lot but 
someone had asked me about um, how society is as far as women being narcissists and it, we approving bad behavior. And I feel as a society, we we really have. We now approve bad behavior and it's, I mean, it's slowly been, you know, escalating of, of bad behavior that we, um, that we do and it's, and it's considered, you know, yay and is, you know, rah-rah about, but in all actuality, it's people, um, basically not wanting to be accountable for their shit and wanting to not grow up. You know, I understand that a lot of us deal with trauma and we're all very often stunted where the trauma, when the trauma occurred. But at one time, at one, at some point in time, we got to look at ourselves and say, you know, when am I going to grow up? When am I going to be an adult and um, stop being around kids? Stop hanging out, you know, and trying to be something that you're not. So, you know, um, I just feel like we condone, like, <laughs> people doing stupid shit. I just, I just, you know, I just don't get it. You know, um, talking about sex all the time, talking about having sex on the first date and everything like that. Like, yes, you can, you can do that, but do you have no self-control? I mean, honestly, do you have no self-control that you can't sleep with somebody, that you cannot sleep with somebody that you just met? I mean, and the thing is that, I mean, we don't talk about it every day, but diseases are still around and people are doing a lot of risky shit and you act like just because you put on a condom, that really keeps you safe. No, people are hoes out here and I don't condone the shit and I really feel like we are constantly condoning bad behavior, you know? And, yeah, so I, I know I just went off on a, on a tangent, but I just, like, it just had me, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry, you just had me uh, think of some, some shit that, you know, has been on, the, I guess, on the back of my mind, so I thank you for that, um, because, yeah, you know, um, I just... I just don't know what to say about it, but that, you know, I have some other thoughts, but y'all not ready for me to be that honest. Y'all not ready for me to be that real. So I'm going to keep that shit to myself. Like I said, um, I'm nice. Um, I've had some, you know, so I can't share, you know, all my feelings, but yeah, I know you. I know you're joking, but I'm saying there are some people that have like stuff like that, like you know, um, and it's just be. It's just like I don't know. I feel like a lot. There's a lot of broken people out here, and they do things to to get intimacy, to get love, and they blind themselves and confuse themselves that they're happy and that they're good, and it's like, nah, son, you're not good. You really not, you know, um, people like sometimes that, you know, these gaps between their relationships, you know, between the person that they're dating and stuff like that. It's like, what are you trying to prove? I mean, yes, a person would want somebody that's young and everything like that, but y'all can't really relate. She can't really do grown shit. He can't really do grown shit. What you doing? He got he he can barely he can he can barely pay his own bills. What you doing with him? She can barely take care of her own shit. What you doing with him? I understand that you might think that there might be slim pickings out here or you want to just have a good time, but that good time is going to be tie your ring after a while. So it's like, miss me with the, with, you know, I'm 
still getting her groove back and all that kind of shit. Like, miss me with the dumb shit. They can't, he, he can't reach a man's level. Like a real man, he can't touch a real man. Just like she can't touch a real woman. So what are you doing? Why, why are you playing in the kindergarten yard? I don't get it. But, you know, some do, some do. So I just feel like if you, if you, if you guys really love each other, then I understand that. But if you, if the connection's not real, then, then what you playing around for? Why are you, yeah, so don't let me get me started. So, Ninja Exes presents uh, facts, definitely a lot of broken hearts out here in the streets. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So, I'm just saying that, you know, um, we just, a lot of times we're just condoning bad behavior and making it seem like it's okay because a lot of us are hurt, you know. Um, I was having a conversation with a friend the other day. And they were saying because um, they liked this girl or whatever, and if she didn't like her, her um, him back, he was going to, like, burn the, like, <laughs> fuck up the entire relationship. Like, you know, air her dirty laundry out and everything like that. And it's like, yo, first, that's not even real man shit. But outside of that, um, it's it was just like, that's ego. And if you really... If you really loved her, you'd be able to take that on the chest and be able to say, you know, at least I was able to love this person, you know, because this person, because he hasn't loved for a really, really long time. So the fact that he's able to love it at this point in, in stage, I would say that's like kudos that I'm, you know, that I'm healing. But obviously he still has a lot of work to do because he said he wanted to burn the whole shit down if she said no. So it is what it is. Um, But... Yeah, yeah, so that's why, that's why, I don't know, I can't play with my heart. <laughs> I, take th I take things way too seriously, so it's like, come correct, come correct. And that's why I'm saying, again, if you are interested in a person that's online, you need to make your, your presence known. Getting back <laughs> to the original topic, you have to make your presence known again. Um, making DMs constant, moving over to the phone calls and asking thought provoking questions, really getting to know her or him because I'm noticing people are being, I don't know if it's being thirsty. I, well, I think, it, I think it's more, more the thirstiness than anything, honestly, because I don't get why I have been five con conversation con you know constitutes being able to sleep with them you know so even if they're saying the right stuff and everything like that you got to be you got to be mindful that you're the prize man or woman you are the prize so you want to take things slow you know um i know that a lot of times we um we we we're going to have sex obviously but i'm just saying do it enough that you that you actually get to know whether or not that you can even stand this person. Because like I said, you never know. Pregnancies happen. And you want to at least be able to know that you can deal with this person. You know, I know I'm going all over the place. I'm having all these thoughts about people that I know and stuff like that. So I feel like I have to put all these warning signs in because it's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. And the STD rates are rising. Y'all think it's a game. I hate being single out in these streets. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. But I'm going to stay with my vibrator until I find the right one. <laughs> Got me fucked up in these streets. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Make sure, make sure you take care of yourself. Right. So, yeah. You're trying to holler at a person in the DMs. Gotta come correct. Gotta get to know them. Ask thought provoking questions. And it might take a long time before they move on to, like I said, having giving you their number and everything like that. But if you do it right, then the person you'll make the person feel comfortable. 
Uh, Night Angel Exes presents the thirst is real. People will say they want relationships when they really just want relations. Yes, definitely. And Fatal Pose says, never met someone online. Okay. Well, that's dope because I've dated um, online, you know. Some I have horror stories for us. Some were good, you know. Some were lasting relationships. Still around. <laughs> Not even whatever. They still around like a thorn in my ass. Um, but yeah. So in any case, um, you want to again, like I said, make the person feel make, make the person feel comfortable. Yeah. I understand. I understand. Fontella Post says too old school. But in in this day and age, people doing it completely different. You know, like I said, people sign into people's DMs and it's a lot of a lot of the times it's very superficial. So that's why people don't pay people that sign their DMs like that any mind. But when they do, what I'm telling you to do is make sure that you say the right things and make it count. Because you only have one opportunity, really, with um, when it comes to um, online to say something stupid <laughs> and get your ass blocked. So you might as well come correct. You might as well come correct. So... Because the wine and the chocolate caramel pair nicely. It's good. Mm. <laughs> it is after dark, isn't it? Mm. So. Make self. Be complimentary. Be understanding. Be a safe place actually be these things not just pretend to be these things actually be these things and remember things because again you're not talking on the phone all the time so you got to remember things that they tell you and of course i mean at least it's able to read them and everything like that if you're going through text messages back and forth until they feel comfortable in actually meeting you what Is it because it's distracting or because you just don't want me to do it? Nothing online. Frontel Polo says, nothing online is real to me. I still need to see everything in real life. Pissing behind him. Of course. Again, I'm not saying that you're not going to meet the person in real life, Jerry. I'm just saying you start off in the DMs. Okay. I mean, how many people have hit you up for a photo shoot that you've never met in your DMs? It's the same damn thing. <laughs> mm. Excuse me. Because I'm like, how you not? You are a part of the times. Because when they hit you up for a photo shoot, <clears throat> when you meet them in person, it's the same thing. Well, that moves a lot quicker because you're doing a business service. So, if I'm a bit of both, my DM is to call me. Okay. But some people don't want them. Some people are regular people and they don't want their number out there. So, that's how they move. But this is for people that are hot, sexy, model types, or just very attractive. And this person is attracted to them and wants to date them for a serious relationship. Not no one night stand. Wham bam. Hi, I'm Pharaoh. How are you doing? Hope all is well with you. Welcome to Kane Nicole. Let me go back. Well, everybody, because I think we have some new people in here. Uh, welcome to Kane Nicole After Dark, where we talk about everything relationships. Um, if I should check out, oh my goodness, it fell. My hair oil, always keep your crown straight. It's amazing for the hair. Definitely check it out. So, another step. Oh no, it doesn't pair well. 
It's still nasty. It's still nasty. Oh, see, I must be getting down. Okay. Okay. I told you I was lit earlier, but I must be winding down because I'm not even smiling as much as I was before. So, <laughs> Fonto photos. No call, no back and forth messages, no anything on any level. Okay. Okay. But, again, this is for those that are interested in dating somebody. You're already in a relationship, so that doesn't even matter. Um, you don't even, you don't even fit in this category because you're in a relationship. These are people that are trying to still go after the person that has, you know, 17,000 followers or even if she doesn't even have that many followers, but she has like 8,000 or whatever case might be. And she's just hella cute. And you know that mad guys, mad females are in this person's DM. Like it's going to be a tough time going to be able to you know, see see what's up, you know, because you got to make yourself stand out. Otherwise, it's going to be delete, not even look at it, you know? So, again, so even that, you're, so your, I would even say your page would have to be somewhat interesting and appealing, you know? Not that you're tailoring it to her, but that you are really showcasing who you are. Consider it your your dating profile. Because it's not like you're on, you know, Black People Meet or ChristianMingle.com. So your Instagram has to be your calling card. So dope-ass captions. And I'm not saying where they have to be super clever or anything like that. But just be like, share who you are. Like, come on. This is, this is, like I said, it's your, it's your, basically your dating profile. So it's showing who you are, you know, um, you want to be artistic with your pictures and stuff like that. I mean, that way a person can see who you are and they can choose to say yes or no at the gate. What I'm saying, the things I'm telling you are things that are actually going to just help you navigate whether the person is worth your time because time is valuable. At the end of the day, with all of this, time is valuable. So if you present who you are from the gate and they don't accept it or they don't want it, then you'd be like, you know what? That's God's protection, baby. Okay? And you keep it moving. Okay? No hesitation. Because you don't need that in your life. You don't need that in your life. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. To And if they do like you, then that's how you, you know, you progress through the stages of being able to build with them and then go on dates and stuff like that. And even then, still, be attentive. Be consistent. Be fair. Try to be as punctual as possible. Night Angel X's presents that is a very good point. Social media is a, t is a tool to be social with people, 100%. Yeah. So, you know, make it count. You know, like I said, we meet people. People can find love in so many unexpected places. And the thing is that we're often too scared to put ourselves out there. You know? And once, I mean, once you have a general under uh, uh, gist of this person, then I would say, you know, pursue it. Because you never, I mean, if you don't know them, of course, you want to say... I would like to get to know you, but I'm interested in you. And I would like to see where it goes, you know. Because um, you're not going to come out the gate and say, I want a relationship with you. You don't fucking know them, you know. That's madness. They're not going to take you seriously with that, you know. Um, but like I said, you earn your way up the ladder by liking stuff, getting to know them. Even when you write comments and stuff like that, you might relate it to an earlier Post that they did maybe four months ago you know be creative with it like i said that is the biggest part of relationship is being creative so i just that's that's what i have to say on the topic i had to look at the time i'm like wow we've been on here for quite a while already so that's good right 
Um, but yeah, um, the 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 point is in the in the beginning to have them get to know who you are, so that you can cut out all the nonsense um, that you might have encountered, um, even in person, because. A lot of the times, everybody is putting their representative out there anyway. You know? Font Telephoto says, unfortunately, most social media is 100% cap. Only a few people pages reflect their actual life. Well, that's why I said this person is going to be different and showcase something. You know? And being consistent in it. I Like I said, like this is a, a rule book. Like If a person's like that, then obviously it's easy to see through not talking about that so i mean i you know so I, I mean thank you for sharing of course but you know that's how you can see through the fluff that's why <laughs> my you know the whole point of it is me saying um how to make your presence known because uh like you just said uh, a lot of people are are, are fake out here so you have to you have to be smart out here and you know use discernment and be able to see through the bullshit. But I'm not telling everybody to put all their you know their lows and their you know their sad times like oh I'm so depressed I want to off myself right now. Like I'm not telling you to put that out there, but you know you might put in your stories you know this day's not always a great day or. You know, um, life can be rough sometimes, you know, but get better. You know, people put out motivational. A lot of times when people put out motivational shit, it's not for, it's not for you. It's for them. But they're putting it out in the world because, you know, we all need it. It's not like we all, we don't all need it. But that's not for you. That's for them. To remind themselves, to be able to say, you know what? I need to pick me up. Everybody needs to pick me up. We all need this. Nate Joseph Spinner says, it's definitely not all cat, but inquiring information helps you see through the fake. Definitely. Definitely. You know? I'm not going to say, but, you know, because um, I'm not going to, I don't reveal people unless they want to be revealed, but I have a, a person that I would say is my closest and best friend watching this live right now and i met them first through social media and right i can say that person's my ace like honestly up and down that person's my ace i feel confident enough to say that so um yeah so our person and that person was consistent the things that I'm telling you right now is a lot of what that person did. So don't get it twisted. I I speak from not only from what I see, but from experience. You know, I'm not just, I'm not out here just, you know, out here sipping the Kool-Aid. No, I woke up from that shit a long time ago and I'm out here telling y'all what it is so that y'all know. Because there's people young and old that are dumb as rocks and they know shit about relationships and they don't know a fuck. But they running around here like they do. And causing more brokenness. And I'm not going to say that I'm not broken. But I'm not here. I, I, I want to do better. I want to have growth. So. You don't think I you don't think I chase the pretty face? Oh definitely. Okay. Like not only do I study. But I, I relate it to my own relationships. So how I can do better. So that y'all can do better. You know? So. That's how I feel about it out here. Um, now Angel X's presents. It's definitely not all cat, but... Oh, no, I read that already. Fact, um, facts. Most people post to encourage themselves. And if others are also blessed, then that's just awesome. Yeah. So, if anybody appreciates what I'm saying right now, definitely... You know, gift me. Would appreciate it. Buy a badge. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, you gotta like I said, you have to have discernment. Okay. Now, if you just like I said, if you're just out here to uh, you know see how many people you can add to your count, 
then I'm not for you. You know, what I have to offer is not for you. You know, like I said, I have a I have a true calling, true mission. And that's not to create a bunch of fuck boys and fuck girls. So I'm encouraging healthy relationships. And that always, again, requires communication. It requires consistency. And I'm not going to say I'm a guru because I'm always still learning. But I know when I have to walk away from relationships, I'm I'm safe to say that it's not me. Because I do the work that's necessary. And for me, I'm not even the one to like, well, give up unless it turns toxic. Then I'm out. But until that time, I still try to work on relationships. Because maybe you can't be my, you know, be my significant other. But maybe you can be a, 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 a tear down and be a friend. Or you can be a tear down and be a cool associate that, you know, um, I hang out with, you know, to do whatever kind of shit that me and you do that you don't you don't really do with other people because it's maybe weird shit you know walking a you know like to go down to new beaches and stuff like that and poke fun at other people i don't know you know but um yeah so they can be they can be a tier lower because people don't just because they're not good for you doesn't mean that they have to be out your life a lot of times we're like oh i'm not gonna date that person boop why don't you talk to them for you don't need friends in this world. You know, you know, you don't need you don't need people that might have your back in this world. So I don't necessarily believe in like cutting people off just because they're not serving that particular purpose that you thought they would serve that you would want that you wanted them to serve in your life. You know? Uh Fontel Fo says, I know you are a diamond in the rough hub <laughs> in real life. Thank you. I appreciate that. You make me smile. Thank you. <laughs> but no, for real. Um, you got you gotta you gotta be consistent. You gotta make yourself stand out. You gotta you gotta put forth yourself out here, and I know that's tough to do. And oftentimes, I don't struggle with it, but I often question like, should I have done that? You know. But I need to stay true to me. So whatever true to me looks like is what I ha- I have to continue to do. So that's what y'all need to continue to do. So if you're a, a man or a woman that has dark humor and she never gets your shit and stuff like that, if y'all have other things in common, then, you know, you don't have to worry about that. But if that's like who you are and she doesn't like it and stuff like that, then, you know, because... Who wants a who wants a, 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 a spouse that's gonna roll their eyes every time you make a, a, a joke like that? That's mad disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, ugh, here it is with this shit again. I mean, you might feel that way, and I mean, I've even done that, but I know it's fucking disrespectful as fuck. It is. It's super disrespectful. But to the right man, I might not roll my eyes. So who knows? Um, and bitches pure says laugh. That's me. <laughs> yeah. So you know, that's that's how I you know genuinely feel about it. That you know you have to you have to be your authentic self so that you can find that person that will give you their authentic self because there's nothing more important, more freeing than being able to be yourself with that person. Being your whole and true, complete self. There's nothing freeing, more freeing. There's nothing more. You don't. You don't feel even as strong as you could. You know, as you could have been if you, you know, without meeting this person. Not that you wouldn't be strong, but you know, you feel stronger because this person accepts you in your fullness, and that is such a beautiful thing. You know, and my heart goes out for those that have never felt that. You know, where I might rather say. They love your farts. They say they smell like roses. No, it might not go that far, but that they love you up and down to the top of your head, to the bottom of your feet, to your core. They would fight to the ends of the earth before they let anything happen to you. If they had to choose between going to work, you know, and being there for you by your side, they would choose your side every day. Even if they would be like, oh, but at work, you're going, they're going to be giving you a $100,000 bonus. They're going to be giving you money. 
you know? Hey, Justice presents double facts. This is double facts. Yeah, so, I mean, um, okay. I'm going to see where we are in time. But, yeah, so, I mean, I just have to say, you know, you want to do, you want to do things that make you stand out. And I am always going to encourage you to be your authentic self because then you get to know what it is. Pretending doesn't last too long. People can pretend six months to a year, but even that, people um, begin to begin to leak, begin to crack. So, you know, um, don't don't think that being somebody else is going to win that person over it might for a short period of time until they meet you or whatever case might be but you might like i said might as well be yourself from the gate so you don't have to worry about that because time is the only thing that you can get back the badges here are like three four dollars and stuff like that but the time that y'all spend with me i appreciate that because y'all could just give me money and bounce but the time y'all spend with me and support me means that y'all truly care so i appreciate that i really do so i have to get up early and take this hair out so i'm gonna end this a little early but again i appreciate you guys tuning in with me I'm watching this segment of Kinda Cool After Dark. When, um, I forget what I was going to say. Damn it. Okay, well, I can't remember what I was going to say, so. Um, I love y'all. I know I don't say that often, but I love y'all. Thanks for, for tuning in with me. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of the week. And of course, always keep your crown straight. Take care.